Good morning, world. It's Ivan and Mary. It is coming at 8 o'clock in the morning. So today is your lucky day. I might be doing a 2 to 3 video marathon again. As I have a lot on my mind I want to talk about. I'm really tired, obviously, but I have enough energy to go on for this video. After this video, I'm going to upload it and I'm going to sleep. And you guys are obviously watching my part my video right now. My video I made a couple hours ago at like 3 o'clock in the morning. You're watching that show right now, obviously. It's good. You're looking at a very interesting video for that when you guys watch it, obviously, right now. Obviously. I have a lot on my mind I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about Skies as usual. I'm going to, I'm going to keep talking about this resentment topic. Um, I think it's very important. So remember how before I said I'm going to make my salaries public? I'm not going to do that. That's, that's a very, very bad idea. I'm not going to do that. I want to stay humble as I prefer to keep... You guys will know how much I'm paying the Hollywood actors once the movie project is over. So once the movie project is over, it won't be a big deal anymore because the actors already got their check. The movie, the movie got released. I'm saying, and that's fine. You can release the salaries. You know how much the actors are getting paid. Obviously, but but so so so, so I'm saying, but like while the actors are working, I'm gonna tell all. I'm gonna tell all the actors. Guys, I'm not going to babysit you. I recommend you guys keep your lips sealed. That way you keep everyone happy and, and know and there's no resentment in the workplace. Because you have something called workplace jealousy. It happens. Remember in Suits? You had, you had, you had Harvey Dent. You had Harvey Dent. You had, um... Fuck, what's the other lawyer's name? You had Lewis. Lewis, Lewis was envious of Harvest, of Harvey... You're paying him way more than me. He's he's senior. He's senior, and I'm junior, and all that stuff. Yeah, man. There's something in, you can learn a lot from suits. Obviously, there's something. In, there's something in work. There's a thing in work called workplace jealousy. People people get jealous about about people's about, about people's salaries. He's making more than me. People get jealous about that, man. Yeah, man. I remember when I was working at Coors. Obviously, I remember when I was working at Coors. I heard there were some line cooks who were making more than me. There, yeah, some line cooks are making like sixteen an hour, and I was making my eleven dollars an hour. Yeah, some line cooks are making their sixteen an hour, and, I, and I'm making my eleven an hour. I felt like shit. It's a shitty feeling knowing that someone's making way more than you. Yeah, man. And I was a bit jealous, obviously, of some of the line cooks who made a bit more money than me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember when I when I what when I when I was working at Coors and I went to the Elmer Bar, obviously. I met one of my uh, my friends, my so-called friends, obviously. Who, who Remember that guy I told you about who bragged about that owner at the gas station? Yeah, I met him, obviously, at the bar. Yeah, hey, Ivan, how's it going, man? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's going good, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty good. I'm like, yeah, Ivan, where do you work? I, I don't know. He, he knew, obviously, I was doing minimum wage. He knew there was a lot of me. I'm doing, I work at Coors. I, was, I, I make my shitty 450, 500 bucks every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, you, yeah, yeah, I bought my own house. Oh, yeah, really? Where, yeah, I bought my own house around here. Like, I, he bought a nice fucking house. A nice, like, $300,000, $350,000 house here in Elmer, man. Like, a nice, beautiful house. Yeah, man. Beautiful house. And I was a bit jealous, you know I'm saying? Because I, I remember he told me back in high school, he said, yeah, by the time I'm 23, Ivan, I'll be making, like, 80000 plus a year. Because the guy who, um, that guy, obviously, he was my so-called good friend, obviously, he did trades. After he graduated high school, he did. He went to college and he did trades. Elect, elect, he's an electrician. He did electrician, obviously. He talked about how like you can make a lot of money doing trades, obviously. And I believe he was making like his eighty plus thousand dollars a year. He's like, yeah, I bought my own like three hundred fifty thousand dollar house, man, in Elmer. Three hundred thousand, three forty thousand dollar house, three three thirty thousand dollar house in Elmer, a nice fucking house. I remember when he's told me that I am I'm a cool man. I was a bit jealous, obviously, because I, I, I I'm 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 a I'm, I'm at the time I didn't know if the doors were locked on me. This was back in like twenty fifteen. I didn't know if the doors were locked on me. You know what I'm saying? I was a bit jealous because I was working shitty what? Shitty shitty minimum wage, making five hundred bucks every two weeks. And and you know, that my so called friend who I knew who who's a friend of mine in hot back in high school, he was he who he was making his nice like eighty thousand plus thousand dollars salary. You know what I'm saying? I felt a bit like shit. Trust me. It's just, trust me. Whenever people, whenever, once everyone, once, once you hit adulthood, 
everyone, everyone, what? Once you hit adulthood, obviously, everyone's goal is to be successful, marry a hot wife, have a great, live a great life, drive a nice car, wear nice clothes. Yeah, that's every that's that's everyone's what goal when they're older, obviously. And people get trust me, people get envious and jealous when when it, uh, when, 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 about like, people's success success successes, their their salary, their their net worth, their life, their their wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying they get they get jealous about that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Hence why I'm going to tell all the actors, my directors, my 17, okay, everyone keep their mouth shut. Nobody brags about how much what, about how much they're making. As people can, can get jealous, they can resent you. You see what I'm saying? Especially me, VJ, man. I'm going to tell VJ, VJ, sweetie, I'm not kidding around. You know what I'm saying? Because when I meet VJ in, in, in the airport, where, you know what I'm saying? She's crying, obviously, because she sees me. She sees my face after 30 something years. Yeah, peace out. And I see her face after 30 something years. You know, so if you just crying heavy tears, obviously, and I, I, I hug her, and I'm saying, I'm not going to kiss her in public. I think that's a bit weird. When I go to the club, I'll make out with her, but in the airport, I'm not going to kiss her, obviously. I'll just give her a nice tight, she gives me a nice tight hug. She's crying, I'm saying, because she sees her husband after like 30 something years. She knows what I went through just to save her, obviously. She sees the light now, obviously. I say to her fucking ass, hey, you're welcome. And I'm crying too, you know what I'm saying? I hug her, she hugs me, and we're, we're, we're recollected, obviously. Once we, okay, VJ, let's get the, let's get, let's get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let, let, hey, VJ, did you know any good, did, hey, hey, VJ, do you know any good hotel rooms? You know what I'm saying? Do you know any good hotel rooms, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Do you know any luxury hotel rooms here, 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 and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, 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 and what? You know any top notch luxury hotels in, in Los Angeles, VJ? The hotel, you know what I'm saying? In any count, there's. I remember VJ posted a picture recently on what, on on Twitter or on Instagram. And you see her, she, you see she's turning her back, obviously, and she's. You see her shirt, Hotel California. Yeah, because VJ can see the future. VJ knows. Yeah, when I, I'm gonna meet, when I meet Ivan in in Los Angeles, we're gonna or, or, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to that hotel, and that's when me and VJ are gonna hook up for the first time, man. Obviously, and then I'm gonna tell BJ about Sky Source, and then I'm, I'm gonna tell her how much I got paid. I'm not gonna tell BJ how much I got paid. What? While we're walking towards the, uh, while we're walking towards the, while 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 we're outside, where there's a bunch of people. Because I know Los Angeles is a crowded, filthy city. Obviously, don't hate me. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. Uh, hey, BJ, do you know? Do you, I don't know. Once we leave the airport, I'll ask BJ. Hey, BJ, do you know any luxury hotels? Yeah, I know a few. I know a few luxury hotels here now, here, here, here in Los Angeles. Because VJ's probably been to a bunch of luxury hotels in in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? Because VJ is rich. VJ is is is, is rich, obviously. She's just, she's living somewhere she can afford to stay at suites for like a day or two. She's been to like, I'm gonna rent a top notch like seven thousand dollar night suite, and VJ will know I got paid, obviously, because what? Because okay, Ivan flew down. Ivan flew down private with us, and he obviously got paid his billions. He got paid a lot of money, but she's curious how much money I got. She, she wants to know how much money I got paid, obviously. And once I other hotel, that 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 airport, VJ like, uh, hey, VJ, you know only luxury hotels? Yeah, I don't know luxury hotels. By the way, Ivan, I'm saying I'm, I'm I'm a little curious. How much money did you get paid? By the way, I'm gonna give you that evil look. Like VJ not here, I'll promise I'll tell you how much I got paid when we set out on a luxury suite. You know what I'm saying? VJ, I'm Ivan, how much did you get paid? I'm like VJ, I will tell you when we when we, when we what? When we go to the suite. I don't want to tell you in front of all these people because I don't want these people getting mad and resenting me and hating on me and all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Okay, Ivan, right, I'll wait. And I'm saying we go, I go to the hotel, I book the suite, obviously. VJ will know I'm rich, obviously. Hey, I want to book your best suite in this hotel, you know what I'm saying, with a jacuzzi. Okay, Ivan, it's $8,000 a night. Yeah, okay, I'll book it for two days. We'll stay in Los Angeles for two days. He's like, holy shit, Ivan's rich, you know what I'm saying? I have my Canadian Scotiabank bank card, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I we booked the suite, obviously. And me and VJ hook up mad, obviously. The first time we have sex. You know, VJ might even cry when I have sex with her because she can see she can see my father when she bangs me, obviously. Obviously, right. I can see your spirit, obviously. And then once afterwards, we just gonna ask, okay, Ivan. Uh, okay, Ivan. We're in the hotel room now. How much did you get paid? How much did you get paid, sweetie? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like okay, VJ. You want to know how much I got paid? You'll be shocked. I'm saying, yeah, Ivan. How much did you get paid? I don't know, VJ. I got like sixteen billion dollars, seventeen billion dollars. We just like, holy shit, you got seventeen billion dollars? Oh yeah, VJ. I got seventeen. Billion. Holy shit, Ivan. We can live the dream life now. 
You know, say it was uh, it was my dream. It was my dream. It was my dream to what? It was my it was always it's always been my dream to build my dream condo. My dream my dream condo penthouse with my husband. Yeah, yeah, VJ. We don't. Yeah, VJ. I don't want to buy a condo. Let's build our own condo, our own penthouse, our big penthouse for ourselves on top of the roof in Vancouver. And VJ, how does three hundred million towards the condo? So I'm Ivan. Three hundred million dollars. Yeah, three hundred million dollars. Unheard of high tech condo. He's like, holy shit, I mean, that's just my dream. Yeah, you're looking at something like you're looking at something like Batman's Batcave. Me and me, me and you're gonna be rich like Batman, VJ. Once we release the movie merch, we're gonna have like eighty billion dollars in our bank. Yeah, Batman's worth like eighty billion dollars in the comics. Iron Man's worth like a hundred plus million, hundred plus billion, I believe. Iron Man's worth more than Batman in the comics. Because Iron Man's stuff, Iron Man's tech is more high tech than even Batman's tech. Like, even though Batman has high-tech technologies, not as high-tech as, as Iron Man's suit, man. Iron Man's suit's high-tech, man. More high-tech than even Batman's suit. Remember, go watch Justice League. Remember Ben Affleck's? Remember Ben Affleck's, uh... Remember Ben Affleck's, uh, uh house in Justice League and, uh, and, and Tony Stark's house in Iron Man? Yeah, I'm gonna own a high-end condo like that. I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna tell VJ. I don't want to build a house. I don't want to build a mansion. I'm not a fan of mansions, and I'm not a fan of building a big house. I want to build a penthouse. So me and VJ will have pretty much a house, but it's a penthouse. A penthouse is like a big condo, pretty much. Okay, guys, I don't want to build a house. I want to build a three hundred million dollar like condo penthouse. It's a condo, but it's a penthouse. It's a big condo. Slightly bigger than a condo, obviously, but I don't want to build a house. It's just, it's just, it's just me and VJ. A condo's more than enough. I'm not a fan of houses. I'm not a fan of mansions. No, I'm into condos. Condos are better than houses, in my opinion. If he's like, yeah, I have now, I, I, I'm more into condos than fucking houses. Yeah, condos are much better than houses. It's just me and her. We don't, we don't need to build a big house. No, we have our living room, our kitchen. We have a jacuzzi room, a huge terrace outside. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's, just, it's not as big as... It's not a big mansion, but it's a big... It's a pretty big penthouse. But it's high, high, high tech because I'm putting 300 million towards it. Some you know Yeah. If he's going to have that smile on his face, holy shit, I'm going to share the building. Are you going to share that, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to share it to you. Relax. When I go, when we go to Vancouver, I will re we'll register for our Scholarship Bank debit card and visa. And we'll be sharing the account with me. And Vija will share the billions with me, obviously. And once she shares the billions with me, you're gonna see how small on her face. No, Ivan, you want to go clothes shopping? Yeah, sure, VJ. Yes, let's go with the ball. Let's go clothes shopping. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go clothes shopping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this has been crazy. Sure, Ivan. Let's go clothes shopping. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ivan, you want to buy our yacht? Let's buy our dream yacht. We buy our nice like June 50 with our yacht. Hey, Ivan, let's buy our jets. You want to buy, I watched the videos, you want to buy your two Jets, Ivan? You know, so yeah, VJ, let's buy, we can buy a nice 100 million dollar jet. We can get a nice 60 million dollar uh, jet, or two Jets. Yeah, man, me and VJ are living the life, man. Yeah, man. That's why I'm going to tell you, VJ, when we make, when we make what? When you share the blames with me and I saved your ass, you can see me now, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? And we're living the life, obviously. Whenever we go out to the bar and the bartenders are ask, the bartenders are curious and they ask us how much money we got paid, obviously. Do not tell them how much, uh, what? Do not tell them how much money I got paid. Keep it secret between me and you. Do not what? Do not tell. The bartenders or even a seven team, how much we, me, 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 you got paid for the book? As it's none of their business, obviously. You see what I'm saying? But because these, because the, the, you guys are curious, you, you guys are gonna want to know how much I got paid. I look, on, I'm not telling you shit. You're not gonna know how much I got paid. You'll know that I'm, that I'm rich and living the lavish life when you see my documentary. I'm gonna rub in your face, obviously. But uh, I kill you with cons. All I use, I just take my wife. I live my lavish life. I rub it in your face. You're gonna know I'm rich, obviously, but you're not gonna know I, I, how much I got paid, as it's none of your business world. Yes, I love to brag. The only reason why I'm bragging for my videos is because because I wanna I wanna make my videos as entertaining as I, as, as as I can for you guys. And you guys piss me off, and I wanna rub it. I wanna rub it on your face on this Sabados channel. But once I'm king, I'm gonna be humble. 
I'm not gonna go around and be like, oh, I got $18 million. No. I'm gonna have that smile on my face, obviously, because I'm loaded, obviously. But I'm not gonna tell all these people I got, you know, how much money I got paid. No. Keep, keep, keep your lips sealed. Keep with yourself. As people get jealous about that stuff, man, trust me. So I'm saying, yeah, man. Hi, when I get that fat check, when I get that confirmation email, obviously, on PayPal, you have received $17 billion. I transfer the money into my Scotiabank account. I'm not going to tell anyone how much I got paid because people in Elmer will get very jealous and they're going to hate on me. Like, don't forget, I have the keys. And these, if I tell them how much I got paid, they're going to, some people are going to be really, really pissed off. And they're going to be, they're going to envy me a lot. Because all these guys in Elmer are all average people who make forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, man. Which is a, not, a lot of money, obviously, but the, 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 they don't, the, they're not special like me. They, they, they can't make their easy billions like me, you see what I'm saying? When I go to the, 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 the Wolf of Levine Depaneur, the owner there might give me some dirty stares, obviously. When I go to the Shawarma place, Snack Shack, Bob's Pizza, there's a high chance some of the employees might hate on me. They might give me dirty stares because none of those guys are going to make the kind of money I make. They all make their what? 17 an hour, 16 an hour, and I even made his easy billions. You know what I'm saying? That's why what? Keep your lips sealed. I'm going to keep my lips sealed, obviously. But I guarantee you, when I go to the Elmer Bar and when I go to the marina, I, I don't know, I, I have a beer, I, I eat some food, obviously, and the waiters are Tammy and all, so some of them might, might ask me, you know what I'm saying? Ivan, I read your book. You wrote an amazing book, Ivan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ivan, you seem happy. Yeah, I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you must have got your money, Ivan, you know what I'm saying? They might, they must, some of them might ask me, hey, Ivan, how much money did you do? You, you might tell me how much money you made, I'm like, no, guys, I prefer not to tell you. It's none of your business. I prefer not to tell you guys. I I think I, I think it's best that I that, that I what that that I, that I don't tell you. All I'm gonna say is I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed my book. I hope I entertain you guys. Holy shit! Ivan's humble. He doesn't he he, he does he doesn't want to tell us how much he got paid. No, I don't. There's not. I don't want to be an asshole like that. There's nothing worse than you you making weight. You, 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 I don't. Know, I made my easy seventy million dollars, and all these waiters are working their asses off for thirty five thousand dollars a year. No, I'm not gonna tell you. How much money I got paid. As I don't want you to feel like shit. And I don't want to hurt your feelings man. Trust me. It's a shitty feeling knowing someone makes way more money than you man. It's not a good feeling man. It's a shitty feeling. See what I'm saying? It's not a good feeling. You feel degraded. You feel downgraded. You feel worthless. Yeah it's not a good feeling. Hence why I keep your lips sealed. As I know if I tell... I know if I tell all these people how much I pay, holy shit, Ivan's fucking, Ivan's a fucking asshole, man. He's telling all these people how much I got paid. He's not humble at all. Yeah, it's when you're rich, it's it's good to stay humble. It's good to be humble if you're rich. As there's nothing worse than what? There's nothing worse than you making, you, there's nothing, there's nothing worse than you being part of the 1% and everyone else are all middle class average people and they make their $50,000 a year. They're just barely making it by. They buy their used cars, you know what I'm saying? Whereas you, you're a billionaire, you can buy, you can build your dream, 300 million Arcano, you can fly privately, you know what I'm saying? You start your own Sky Star Entertainment Company, you pay the Hollywood actors their millions, or 17 their millions. You're going to make your billions off your movie. Keep your lips sealed, that way what? You keep, you keep what? Everyone happy, obviously. But I told you, there's some average people who might be curious, Ivan, how much, Ivan, I mean, how, how much dough did you make, man? I'm like, uh, guys, I'm not going to tell you, it's none of your business. I'm not gonna say it's none of your business because saying it's none of your business is a bit rude. It's a bit rude. I'll just say, guys, I, guys, I prefer not to tell you. I, I prefer, I, I prefer to keep it to myself. I, I, I don't like telling people how much, how much money I make and all that stuff. I prefer to tell you. I prefer not to tell you. All I'm gonna say is, I hope you guys enjoyed my book. Obviously, I even meant tell me. I want to know how much you got paid, man. I'm saying, like, guys, I'm not telling you squat. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hurt your feelings, man. I'm not gonna say I don't want to hurt your feelings, but look, guys. I don't, I don't, I what? I don't want you guys to resent me. It's none of your business, man. And there's nothing worse than what? You telling an average person who makes $50,000 a year that you made $17 million a year. He's going to feel like shit, man. Trust me. The, the bartenders and all them who work, who work full time, who make like 28, 30 grand a year and all that stuff. And all these guys who make $50,000 a year, they're going to feel like total shit. Knowing that I even made his easy $70 million. <laughs> Money that they would, they, they Trust me, all these average people around the world, they all dream of being, they all dream of being millionaires, man. And Ivan made his easy, his easy, like, $17 million. Yeah, they're going to feel like shit. As every average person in the world's dream is to be a millionaire. The, to, to, when I mean a millionaire, their dream is to have, like, a nice, like, $1 million in their bank. 
Like, every average person's dream is to make a nice two hundred, three hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year and become a millionaire. And yet Ivan just made his easy seventy million dollars. Yeah, it's a shitty feeling when Ivan made his easy seventy million dollars. He is even richer than even all these Hollywood celebrities who made who make their millions in Hollywood. He's richer than all these sport athletes. It's a shitty feeling, man. You know, man, Ivan's so lucky, man. Like he's he's part of the one percent. He has the keys. He made his easy seventy million dollars off his book, and he's gonna be he's gonna be living that life. Was was we all make fifty k a year? We all drive used cars. We can't afford we can't afford a Ferrari or a Porsche. We have to get like the cheaper cheaper Toyotas, used Toyotas. You know what I'm saying? Use Hondas, you know what I'm saying? We can only afford to get like a two hundred forty thousand dollar house. Which is still nice, obviously. Three hundred thousand dollar house was Ivan can easily pull this three hundred dollar car. Yeah, keep your lips sealed. That way you what? You prevent resentment among people. Hence why there's a reason why a lot of people around the world hate on me, guys. So think about it. Think about it. People around the world trust me, whenever I go outside I notice how some people they talk and all that stuff. And you can tell I can tell when they when I speak up they talk about things, you can tell they hate on me and all that stuff. Yeah, the reason why they hate on me is because they're envious they're envious of me, obviously. They're envious of my relationship with my hot ass wife. You know, I even has this hot ass VJ, you know what I'm saying? They're envious of my nature, I can live forever. They're envious of my I'm healthy, I'm fresh, whereas all these people are garbage. They're envious of my nature, I can live forever. They're envious of the fact that they know me, they know that I'm gonna get the glowing beauty with VJ. Smoking hot. They're envious of, of my of my nature, obviously. They're envious of my relationship. And they're also envious of my wealth. I have the keys. I'm a son of God. Hence why a lot of people hate on me and all this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Because they're envious, obviously. Heck, okay, VJ, I know the world's envious about my wealth and all this stuff. I prefer, whenever, whenever I tell you how much I got paid, don't go bragging to all these people. and be like, I got, I'm rich. No. We'll, bra we'll, we'll rub in the world's face when the world sees their lavish life trending, obviously. But let's not tell anyone how much we got paid, VJ. Let's keep it to ourselves. That's just none of their business, obviously. The only person I'm going to tell how much I got paid is VJ. I'm not even going to tell my stepfamily how much I got paid. They're not going to ask. My stepfamily, once I come out from death, obviously, I'm not going to want to talk to my stepfamily. I'm going to release my book, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to what? I'm just, I'm just going to leave. The moment I get my check, I'm going to leave the next day. I know, I get my, ch my check midnight. My room is all emptied out. Obviously. And then early morning the next day around ten o'clock I'll leave I I I pack everything I leave the house, obviously. As I won't want to talk to my step my family once I what, once I come back from death man I'm 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 I'm, I'm peacing out man. As you just killed this and man you caused mess in my life and you you for, you had me have memory of having sex with my stepmother yeah it doesn't get any worse than that hence why what, you turn me into porn star and, and, and you know what I'm saying. And all my stepbrothers and my stepfather and all, they all fuck my wife. And I had sex with my stepmother. Hence why once I, once I get my check, I'm, le I'm leaving this house. I'm getting out of this house, obviously. Yeah. And I'm going to what? Go to Dinty's. I'm going to check out, uh, check in at the, at the Cartier. Shout out Cartier for 10 days. And I'm going to make plans for buying some of my clothes in Ottawa. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna find I'm gonna book a private flight to Los Angeles ten days later. I'll book my flight around twelve, about noon, Los Angeles to see VJ, and I'll arrive in Los Angeles around six, around there five six o'clock, and I'll VJ will be waiting for me obviously because I have the key. She's connected to me, and I'm gonna go in that hotel. I'm gonna stay in Los Angeles for two days. Go clubbing with VJ in Los Los Angeles. I want to go clubbing with VJ in Los Angeles. And me and her are gonna make out the club obviously train online. And then we'll stay in the hotel for we'll stay in Los Angeles for one more day, and the next day, the day after that, I'll 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 book my flight to Vancouver, private flight, and I'll fly to Vancouver. And because I say we just ask, I choose where we live. We're living in Canada. I don't want to live in your filthy country, in your filthy, crowded, high high crime rate. You know what I'm saying? Cra um, drowned in debt. You know what I'm saying? Unemployed, high unemployment rate countries. You know I'm saying because America's a mess, man. It's a fucking mess compared to Canada. You compare America and Canada, yeah, America's a is 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 a fucking mess compared to Canada. Overcrowded, high crime rate, thirty percent unemployment. That's crazy, man. Over, I heard there's yeah, thirty million people in America are unemployed, guys. That's crazy. You don't see that in Canada, man. That's almost the entire population of Canada. It's crazy, man. Yeah, man. It's filthy over there, it's crowded, garbage everywhere, and what? 
the America's like twenty like five plus trillion dollars in debt, man. Whereas in for Ca Canada's only like Canada's only like I don't know like a trillion five in debt, man. Like we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good compared to fucking America. America's a mess. It's a fucking mess over there. That's why I don't live in the states. And VJ will grow a love Canada better. I think that's Canada's better than the states. And because I saved her ass, I choose where we live. We're living in in Vancouver. That's where we're gonna live. I don't want to live anywhere else. I want to live in Vancouver forever. And I was like, hey, VJ, if you want to, if you, VJ, I have not, I want to live, no, VJ, I want to live in Vancouver, Canada forever. We're never, we're never moving. We're living in Vancouver forever. If you want to go to all these countries, we can just travel there. And it's fair. I choose where we live because I, I, I'm the one who, what? It's because of me, you're, you're a billionaire. Yeah, you have the keys like me and you would have made your billions, obviously, like me, but you're fucking stupid. You sold out. I'm the one who saved your ass out of Hollywood, and I'm the one who made billions for me and you, and it's because of me, you're the only one in the world who can see me, whereas the whole world sees hell, hence what? Hence, hence, it's fair, I choose where we live, it's fair, and she'll be like, Ivan, I don't care where we live, I don't mind living in Canada, it's beautiful up there in Canada, Ivan, yeah, 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 we're living in Canada, I don't want to live in your what? I don't want to live down south, obviously, don't hate me, you know, so I want to live up north, as the north is far more beautiful than the south, the south is fucking cursed. Yeah, man. It's filthy and cursed. Whereas the North is holy and beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Don't hate me, Americans. I don't want to live in your fucking down south, VJ. I want to live up north. It's, Canada is more beautiful than the States. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. That's why I'm going to be very, very strict with VJ. VJ, please. Do not tell John Favreau and Dave Filoni if they're hired how much, how much, how much we got paid off my book. It's none of their business. They know I got my billions. So I'm not gonna tell them how much I got paid because I don't want John Favreau and Dave Filoni to resent me, man. Because because even though John Favreau was loaded, he's worth a hundred million dollars. The amount of money he has in his bank is pocketing to how much we need to make. You know what I'm saying? As there's nothing worse, even you know what I'm even the Hollywood celebrities, even the Hollywood celebrities who are who are fucking filthy rich. Their wealth is pockets around my wealth. That's why whenever I sign, like, Keanu Reeves and all them, and, like, Ben Affleck, I'm going to tell VJ, VJ, do not brag to Keanu Reeves and all them how much money the contract we signed. It's none of their business. They they saw my videos. They know we signed that massive deal with Amazon. They're not stupid, obviously. But don't tell them. Don't don't talk about it. Don't mention it. Keep it to yourself. As, as Keanu Reeves and all them can get envious. They can get jealous. Because me and VJ are making way, way, way more than them. So we're making, like, I don't know, $40 billion. $43 billion off, 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 off the Great Escape movie and the merch. Even though Keanu, we signed his master contract, it's nothing about how much me and VJ made, you see what I'm saying? Ben Affleck and all of them made a lot of money, but it's nothing about how much me and VJ made. They can get angry about that. Look at Ivan, he's rich like Batman. He owns his, like, $300 million super advanced high-tech condo, like Iron Man's condo, like Iron Man's house. Ben Affleck's house in Injustice League. Ivan's fucking loaded. Yeah. Remember in Injustice League when um, Ben Affleck had his condo like under the water? Something high tech like that. Yeah, I'm going to own a condo high tech. Like, he had his bat, his high tech garage. He's like, in, and remember that scene when, um, when what? Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, she, 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 she breaks into his house. He's like, you know, I put tens of millions of dollars towards, towards my, my alarm system. Yeah, I'm going to own a high tech condo like that, man. I'm going to own a penthouse, not a condo, a penthouse. So it's like a big condo. A penthouse is pretty much like a big condo, pretty much. It's a house, but it's a bit smaller than a house. It's like a penthouse. It's like a, it's like a, it's a, it's like a big condo. Because I'm going to have my indoor pool in there, my my jacuzzi room, my private IMAX CD room. I'm going to put like $3 million towards my private IMAX CD room. You see what I'm saying? Don't brag about what? Don't brag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. So, but you guys will see my lavish life in the documentary, obviously. And you'll see some of my lavish life with the trends. You know what I'm saying? Ben Affleck and Keanu Reeves and all that will know me and VJ are loaded, obviously, when they see my condo. When they get flown on my $100 million private jet. They see my nice $300 million condo. Keanu Reeves will know me and VJ are loaded, obviously. But even then, I'm not going to tell them how much I got paid. Because Ben Affleck and Keanu Reeves might tell me, hey, Ivan, man, how much money did you make off your book? I've I read your book, man. Your book was a masterpiece, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what I'm saying. Man, your Zane. I, yeah, I saw your Zane swing, man. Your Zane swing was a masterpiece, man. One of the best movies ever made, man. One of my, probably one of my favorite movies. Probably the, my best movie, the best movie I've ever seen. 
That was a masterpiece. Like, they might talk about Zane's. Oh, I mean, yeah, I saw Zane's movie, man. That was a masterpiece, man, based off your book. Fuck Ivan, you're, you're fucking creative. You're a fucking creative genius. Zane's is a masterpiece, Ivan, yeah. Ivan, by the way, he might... They, there's a high chance Ben Affleck, Keanu Reeves, and Scarlett Johansson, when I talk with them, they might ask me, Ivan, how much money did you make off your book and your, and your movies, man, and your, and, your, and your merch money, man? Oh, my God. Uh, I made a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? How much did you make, Ivan? I'm like, ah, I prefer not to tell you. I'm, I'm, I, I don't really like talking about how much money me, me and my wife made, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Keanu, oh, Ivan, it's all good. I don't mind, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all good. Just tell us. I'm like, no Keanu, no Scarlett Johansson, no Ben Affleck. I'm not telling you how much I got paid. It's none of your business, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if I, if I'm scared, I know if I tell them how much money I made from my book, my movie, they're going to, they're going to feel like shit. Because me and VJ made like, I don't know, 60, 65, 70, but if I tell Keanu Reeves I made $70 billion for, 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 he'll be, $70 billion for, for what? Or, uh, <laughs> if me and Vijay tell him we made like 70, if I tell those three guys I made 70 billion dollars off my movie, my merch, and like 20 billion dollars off my book, they're gonna feel like shit. Holy shit, I mean, you made, you made, you made 70 billion dollars, they're gonna feel like shit, man. Holy shit, man. They're gonna feel like humiliated and downgrade. Holy shit, we're nothing to Ivan. We're so small compared to him. Yeah, it's a shitty feeling, man. Ivan's rich like Batman. He, him and Vijay have like 80 billion dollars in their bank, 90 billion dollars in their bank, you know what I'm saying? Me and Vijay are going to be rich like Batman, guys. You know how Batman is worth like $80 billion? He's loaded. He has his own Wayne Tech company. Yeah, think of something like that for me and Vijay. You know what I'm saying? Me and Vijay. Because the symbolism of Batman, Batman is Bruce Wayne. He's the CEO of, of Wayne Tech, obviously. But he's also what? He's, he's a billionaire, obviously. But he's also what? He's, he's, also, he's, he's also the man in the mask. He's Batman. Symbolism of me and Vijay. Me and Vijay, even though we're the CEOs of Skyscrapers, we're also movie stars. You know, we, 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 we're also movie stars. Yeah, that's the symbolism, obviously. Batman owns Wayne Tech. He's a CEO. At the same time, he's also Batman. And he's a, he's famous. He's the famous Batman, obviously. Me and Vijay are the CEOs of our big Skyscraper's company, obviously. Like, Wayne Tech. Biggest Skyscraper's company ever. At the same time, we're also movie stars. For our movies. Yeah, man. See what I'm saying here? Yeah, there's a high chance Ben Affleck and Scarlett Johansson might ask me, VJ, how much money did you make off your... I mean, I loved your Zane's movie. Your Zane's movie was a masterpiece. Now it's the best, like, movie ever made. You know what I'm saying? Based off your book. Fuck Ivan, you're a creative genius. Ivan, you wrote that book all on your own. Yeah, I wrote it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ivan, how much, how much did you make off your book, by the way? I prefer not to tell you. I made a lot of money, but I'm not going to tell you how much I made. Oh, Ivan, just tell us, man. We don't mind. I'm saying, no, no, I'm not going to tell you. I, I don't like, I don't want to tell you how much I made. I don't like, I don't like talking about that stuff, Zen. How much did you make off your movie, Ivan? And your merch? Guys, I'm not going to tell you how much money off movie merch is on your business. Okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to tell us? No, I don't want to tell you because I don't want you what? Resenting me and Vijay. I'm going to show my camera here.